friend, welcome back to my kitchen. It's Deb from Bowl Me Over. I'm so glad you're here today and you've joined me. I'm gonna make something really special. This is one of the top recipes on the blog. Um, stuffed bell pepper, bell pepper casserole. Let me try that again. Stuffed bell pepper casserole. And it's like everything you love about stuffed bell peppers, but none of the fussy prep. Because there's no stuffing, there's no mess. It's a ton easier and just as delicious. Okay, so let me show you the ingredients that we're gonna need first before we get started. We're gonna start with ground beef. I use a lean ground beef. You can use whatever you want. Um, some seasonings, salt, pepper, and smoked paprika. We're gonna use some Montreal steak seasoning. Um, Worcestershire sauce, delicious. We have garlic cloves and rice, bell peppers, shredded cheese, fire roasted tomato, onion, and beef stock. That's all we're gonna need to make this dish. Okay, so we have our ground beef in the skillet. We're letting that brown, and while that's happening, we're gonna chop the onions, the bell pepper, and mince up that garlic. I'll show you how to do all that next. So let's just quickly chop all the veggies, and then we'll get back to cooking. never chopped garlic it's super simple um, take your garlic clove lay it down put the side of your knife over it and with your heel put, put the side of your knife directly on the garlic and then with the heel of your hand pop it look at it smashes it almost completely and it makes mincing the garlic so much easier so I'm going to do that to these last three cloves okay just one more time let me show you again real close Put the garlic clove down, put the knife over top of it on the garlic, hit it with the heel of your hand. See how much easier that's gonna mince up? And let's just do the rest real quick. And then you can put it all together and just run your knife through it real quick. And just like that, poof, our garlic's ready. Okay. We just cut up our bell peppers and our onions and our ground beef is browning right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my um, bell peppers and onions to the skillet and let them brown up a little bit and just mix them in. Now, if I was using not a lean ground beef, like an 80-20 ground beef, I would wait until the ground beef was completely browned so I could drain it. This is super lean, so I'm not gonna worry about draining the beef for this one. Okay, so our bell peppers and onions are just starting to soften. I'm gonna put in that garlic that we minced and the rest of our seasonings. And you know, actually I was just thinking about this. Um, I'm just gonna stir it in really quick. But something special happens to peppers and onions and garlic when they cook. They just become so comforting and warm. The aroma in here is just fabulous so okay so let me put my seasonings in and again that was um, montreal steak seasoning and then salt pepper and um, salt pepper and smoked paprika and you know honestly this casserole is so much easier than making stuffed bell peppers super yummy you're gonna love it Okay, we're just gonna finish up and add these last few ingredients. This is a Worcestershire sauce. And that's gonna give it that, that rich, salty flavor. Um, fire roasted tomatoes. Our rice, because it's a stuffed bell pepper. And then the beef broth. And I'm gonna stir this together really quick. And then we're going to put it in our casserole dish and then put it in the oven and bake it up so it'll be perfect. Okay, we're almost done, ready to, almost ready to put it in the oven. All we need to do is add about half the cheese, maybe three quarters of the cheese to the dish. We're gonna save the rest to put on top. And let me just mix it around a little bit. 
and we're so close. It's a great, it's a great casserole. Even the kids like this casserole, which I, you know, don't ask me why, but they do. Um, it's just so heartwarming and hearty and delicious. It's great for them. Ooh, back to school. Okay, so we're gonna pour the casserole into our baking dish. And I have sprayed that with nonstick cooking spray. Let me just grab this really quick. Okay, perfect. And I'm just gonna even this out a little bit. It looks like it's too saucy, but it won't be by the time the rice cooks. We're gonna top it off with our remaining cheese. Yum. Cover it with foil and into the oven it goes. Okay, it's time. Our stuffed bell pepper casserole is done and it's time for the taste test. So let's give it a try. Now baking it in the oven is perfect because the rice gets nice and tender. All the flavors come together. It's really a great meal. And of course it's cheesy, so hang on. It's still really hot, it just came out of the oven. This is what I mean when I say something magical happens to bell peppers when you cook them. Super yummy, way cheesy, loads of flavor. It's a great casserole. Um, it actually freezes well too, so Make sure you check it out on the blog. The recipe's below. Like and follow the YouTube. Head over to TikTok. Check out Instagram, all the things. And make sure you say hey, okay? We'll see you next time.